We have already started the progress, um, the process of uh, applying for disaster, federal disaster relief. Uh, we had several conversations um, with uh, FEMA, and we are just so fortunate to have a region administrator for, from FEMA who happened to be uh, on, um, in Hawaii Islands. Uh, I wanted to introduce Bob Fenton. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. Well, thank you. Uh, and let me start off also by expressing my condolences to uh, the family members and friends that lost loved ones uh, during this event. Uh, my first uh, message would be one of safety. Uh, I would urge everyone to follow their local responders. Uh, there's still wind, there's still fire going on, uh, life's being saved, so please follow your local uh, res uh your local officials, listen to their message, uh, and to make sure you're safe, make sure you have a plan, make sure that, uh, that uh, if you have, uh, if you have um, questions, you're working with your local officials. Um, so we talked a lot about uh, the response to this event so far, and one of the first tools we do, we provide the federal government for fires, is called a Fire Management Assistance Grant. And over the last 24 hours, I've approved five of those for Hawaii, uh, three for Maui and two for the Big Island of Hawaii. Those grants provide immediate assistance to fight the fire, to go ahead and bring additional resources in, whether they be contracted or resources from other federal agencies, state or local agencies, and uh, provides the cost so that, uh, so that resources aren't the issue to uh, stop the fire. Um, it also provides hazard mitigation funding so that we can make improvements on infrastructure uh, for future events and try to prevent uh, future losses through similar events. Um, right now, we are mobilizing the federal uh, force. As you heard uh, from uh, General Herr, the, uh there's been many uh, federal agencies already involved, Department of Defense, U.S. Coast Guard have been involved in the immediate response to this event already. Uh, but there'll be many other federal agencies that start moving this way today or on island already, and we're starting to work on the recovery. The things that we'll do immediately post-event, like uh, looking at uh, do they need help with debris removal, do they need uh, other types of assistance from us. And so we're doing those assessments right now uh, and looking at those uh, next steps. Um, some of the assistance that may come, and as you heard uh, both the Senator and the Lieutenant Governor talk about, was uh, a major disaster declaration from the President. So uh, once we have the request in hand, uh, and, and we've done many of the assessments through today, uh, we can go ahead and turn on other programs that are applicable. Those programs look like grants to individuals and businesses, uh, loans, uh, uh, to uh, businesses. Also, uh, it, we're able to provide uh, uh, rental assistance to provide temporary accommodations for individuals that maybe uh, have prolonged, uh, you know, um, maybe away from their home for a prolonged period of time. Uh, also, it is hazard mitigation funding uh, and then public assistance to repair damaged infrastructure. So we'll be looking at all those programs and looking to turn those programs on very quickly again. Uh, the President uh, will make that decision in the hours and days ahead. And uh, we're already starting to bring the team here. If individuals have questions about what are those programs, the best place to go is ready.gov or download the FEMA app. There's a lot of information for individuals that might have experienced loss. Uh, recommend to individuals, uh, you know, start to contact your insurance company, keep records, receipts, information uh, that uh, you may be submitting to FEMA uh, to ask for in, uh, assistance and grants to reimburse some of those costs. So we uh, look forward to uh, continuing the partnership with Hawaii uh, and we'll be here um, to help not only in the response but uh, through the recovery. Thank you.